Hello everyone, this is Jules Gomez and welcome to my vlog. Today, I will be guiding you to the basics of Physician Licensure Examination or PLE. What is PLE? PLE is the board examination for doctors, also known as physicians. If you are a medical graduate, you need to pass the PLE before you can be granted the license to heal according to the Medical Act of 1959 or Republic Act 2382. Under Article 3 of this law, the examinee must satisfy the following criteria. When is it being held? PLE is being held twice a year, previously during February and August. However, due to academic calendar shift, it was moved to March and September since 2016 up to present. So you decide when to take it, whether on March or September. Subjects covered are categorized into two, basic and clinical sciences. The basic sciences are as follows. Anatomy and Histology, Physiology, Biochemistry, Pharmacology and Therapeutics, Microbiology and Parasitology, and Pathology. For Clinical Sciences, Internal Medicine, Surgery and Ophthalmology, Otolaryngology and Rhinology, Pediatrics and Nutrition, Obstetrics and Gynecology, preventive medicine and public health, and lastly, legal medicine, ethics, and medical jurisprudence. In summary, there are 12 subjects with 100 questions per subject, for a total of 1,200 questions. Per day, three subjects will be covered. You need to get an average of 75% with no grade lower than 50% on any subject in order to pass. Mean passing level or MPL of 1, 0 0.75, 0 0.5, and 0.25 applies per question. Here are the top performing schools last September 2019 PLE. As for my alma mater, UERM, we got 98.65 passing percentage. What are the steps for PRC online application? First, you have to go to the Licensure Examination and Registration Information System or LARIS through the link www.online2.prc.gov.ph. Next is to register and make sure to scroll down and agree to terms, then sign into your LARIS account. Fill out all the details required, then upload your passport photo with a specified format. Select the Physician Licensure Examination tab and indicate Medicine. Schedule an appointment date with PRC. Choose your preferred payment method and pay for the exam fee. I highly suggest that you pay through banks since it was so hassle to line up and pay on the day itself in the cashier. Next is print the application form, then submit your requirements to the PRC office on the day of your scheduled appointment. Other PRC application requirements are as follows. Birth Certificate If female and married, your marriage contract Certificate of Internship Processing fee of 900 pesos Your transcript of records with scanned picture and remarks for board examination purposes along with date of graduation and seal of school Four passport size ID picture, two documentary stamps available on site upon application, and then make sure to prepare all requirements a day before the PRC appointment. How can you prepare for PLE? Early on during internship, secure your documents from registrar's office or dean's office such as your DOR and Certificate of Graduation, 
because they take time to be processed, minimum of at least two weeks. Decide when you will be taking the PLE, either on March or September. It is also very important to know your learning style. Do you prefer to study alone or with other people? Do you prefer to study in the library or in coffee shops? You also have to decide whether you'd attend a review school or if you will study on your own. Review schools for PLE are top-notch medical board prep and cracking the boards. Some med schools like USD offer in-house review which is available for non-USD med graduates as well. During internship, you have to maximize your rotation. Read on cases especially IM, Pedia, Surgery, and OB. Think of your internship as your study period for clinical sciences. Don't review yet for the basic sciences. It is also helpful to talk to others who took the board exam. Ask how they studied, what were their study materials, and how they coped with all of the stress that is of PLE. Here is a list of some study materials you might want to look into. Of course, these do not replace the recommended medical books, but you may use them as supplement to your studying. Once you have your study materials, make your own study schedule and stick to it. Allot two to three days for a subject and make necessary adjustments along the way. If you still don't feel like studying at this point, hype yourself up. You may want to create a theme or battle cry for this board exam. And lastly, make a countdown. You should feel some kind of pressure if you only have less than 100 days left before the PLE. Thanks for watching! Stay tuned for part 2 
the board review season.